Hello and welcome back to the series on Sahi Pro. Today we will be discussing how using Sahi Pro you can handle such applications where when you are testing it, multiple windows are going to open. Of course, any web page that you will be dealing with, there are so many situations where when you probably click on a link, a new window opens, a new tab opens. Now, how are we going to handle this? Please let me give you an example. Now, I am in this uh, sahi.example.com. So here if you notice, there is a link called as test pages. Now if I click on these test pages, this is the page that I'm on. Now did you see a new window didn't open, a new tab did not open. So please understand, in such scenarios where on the same window you will operate even when you click on a different link, this window which doesn't change is called as your base window. Now how to operate on your base window is what we have been looking so far. There is nothing new for you to learn here because if the window doesn't change, there is no new concept here. But let us assume I take the cursor here, there is something called as window open test. Do you see that? If I click on that, of course a new window opened. Now please understand in Sahi, whether it is a new tab or a new window, there is really no difference. The code works the same. Even if it is a new tab or a new window, Sahi treats both as the same. So there is nothing new you have to learn. Even if this was a new window also, it would work perfectly and I will certainly demonstrate that. Now, please try to understand. Uh, here, first of all, I would like to show you. In this window, in this window, let us assume I want to basically uh, highlight this link test. right? Now, how do we highlight it? It's very simple. If I click on this highlight, you can see it is getting highlighted. Now, if I go to this window, here also there is something called as link test. Now, how is it that I can highlight this one? So, please understand if I go to this base window, do you see there is accessor alternatives value and there is something called as prefix. This prefix has always been empty. It has always been empty. Now, once multiple windows has come into the picture, the use for prefix comes. It is using prefix that Sahi Pro is going to identify a new tab or a new window. So watch it. If I just take the cursor here and also why this prefix has been empty always till now is because for the base window when you're operating, there is no prefix that you require. However, if I go to this new tab, okay, I click on my controller, I click on control and hover over this. Do you notice? The moment I did that, it has given a prefix. Pop up, colon, pop, win. So this pop, win is a prefix which automatically Sahi Pro has given. I hope you're able to understand. Pop, win is the prefix. Now, any operation you want to do here is automatically identified using this pop, win prefix. And that is how it knows that the operation is going to be on this window. So now watch it. What I'm going to do here is now you will have to learn some new APIs. Whenever you want to work on a new tab or a new window, first in Sahi Pro, you have to select that new window. To select that new window, we have an API whose name has been rightly named as select window like this. I hope you will understand. And there, obviously you need to tell it which is the window you want to select. And the window I want to select is identified using a prefix called as pop win. And that is what I would be giving. And after selecting that, next what I'm going to do is, I want to basically take the cursor here, identify this link test and I want to highlight it. So watch it, I'll just go here and I will tell, I want to highlight, what I want to highlight is basically this, right? So if I just add this here, this link test. Now watch it, if in case I were to execute it, this particular link test in the new window has got identified. Right Now, even if I were to now just right click here and say, hey, listen, I want to move this tab to a new window. Now, this is a completely new window, which I'm just moving it here for your reference. Now, there are two windows itself. Yes. Now, even now, please understand the code remains the same. If in case I execute it, it will still highlight it. So that's what I told you. A new tab and a new window are handled in the same way within Sahi Pro. Now, please understand you want this script to work for your base window. The only difference is the base window doesn't have a prefix. So if I were to remove this prefix and just say select window, Sahih Pro knows select window without prefix means it's a base window. And if in case I were to execute it, clearly you can see it is going to highlight that. So I hope you understood this basic concept here. 
that first and foremost, whenever you have a new window on which you want to operate with, Sahi Pro is going to identify the new window using something called as a prefix. Yes. And uh, the base window does not have any prefix, whereas other windows are going to have prefixes. So I hope you have been able to understand this, right? Now, try to uh, understand this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll just remove this and I'm going to go here and I'm going to close this uh, window. Right, the new window. Now, if you notice there is something called as window open test with title. Now, if in case I were to click on this, then a new window opened with a title. How people you understand? Previously, there was no title, but you know most of the windows you open comes with a title in any web application. Now, uh, automatically, if I just take the control here and hover over this, do you see now the prefix has changed and the prefix is now the title of the web page. So, automatically if there is no title, uh, Sahi Pro is obviously going to give a, 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 a you know prefix which it chooses such as pop in. But if there is a title, the title is what is going to be selected. Now, please try to understand, uh, assume in this, uh, uh, let me just make it into a new window so that it becomes easier uh, to uh, you know see the difference. So, now if I just move it a little bit here, yeah. So now, first and foremost, what I want to do is uh, I want to highlight this link test. So for that first, I need to tell, hey, please select a window. And what is the prefix? This time the prefix is the title and you know the title is nothing but with space title like this. Yes. After which I am going to say, okay, what I want you to do now is I want you to highlight. I want you to highlight. Now, what should we be highlighting? What we want to be highlighting is this link test, right? So, I will just add this here. Now, if in case I were to execute it, clearly one can notice the link test in the new window got identified. And how did it identify this window? Using the title, right? Because the prefix here automatically was the title. So, I hope you got clarity on how exactly we can be working on a new window. Now let's go deeper into this concept and learn much more related to multiple windows and how we handle it in Cypro. So now let me show you how this select window is internally used by uh, Cypro whenever we use the record and playback functionality. For example, you know Cypro gives you an amazing record playback functionality where you can directly record the steps which you will be performing on your web application and a pre-written script will be ready for you. Now observe this. I want to record so I'll just click on this. Uh, I want to, uh, you know, give a name to the script. Probably I'll call it as handle uh, multiple windows like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this uh, start to record button. Now it is recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go here and click on test pages. So obviously a new page opens. Now there I'm going to go and I'm going to click on window open test, right? I'll just click on window open test. So a brand new window opened. Wonderful. There I'm going to go click on link test. One window open but in the same tab, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. Post closing, this is the end of my operation. So I will just go and uh, stop the recording. Now if you ask me where is the script, you have to just go to this editor. If you click on editor, you can notice navigate to sahitest.com slash demo. I need to click the link window open test. Then the new window select window that is what I told you select window comes. Okay. Then I'm working there and in that select window I'm clicking on link test. But if you notice here after clicking on link test in the new window I'd actually close that window but that operation did not get captured. Now how do you close a window when you're working with multiple windows? That is not a problem. We have another API for it. And the name of that API is called as the close window API. So whichever window that is currently open, that window will get closed. So I hope you're able to understand. Now what I need to show you, so I'll just save the script and I need to rerun this script, right? So all that I'm going to do here is I will go back to my controller. And in my controller, I will go to playback. On playback, if you notice, if I just also open this and keep it ready for you, I will probably just take it back to the original demo page. Yeah. 
wonderful now please observe this if in case i were to go and click on play then navigate to site test demo open it click on link test link test opens then that gets closed and then you can see it stopped so i hope you understood how this close window functionality works right so select window followed by the index by which you are representing it goes to that new window and if you want to close that window close window is something that we will be using now let me show you a really interesting uh, api call called as the get windows api call now this get windows api call you will be using whenever you have a, your multiple windows open and you need a lot of information about the windows open for example it could be something as simple as the title of every window it could be the url on top of every window something like that now let me give you an uh, example this is my base window i'll go click on open window test with title one new window opened which also has a title now i have two windows open now please understand i'm going to go here to my controller and i'm going to call the get windows api now the get windows api is going to return something to me which i will just collect it now what is it going to return an array of window objects what do i mean by that i will explain anyways i'll just collect it within uh, probably a variable which i'll call as windows itself am i clear till here now please try to understand you may ask what is inside this array let me help you visualize now what is going to happen is the moment you call get windows get windows is going to create an array of window objects how many windows were open two windows so the size of this array is going to be two zeroth index first index in the zeroth index you will have the first windows object in the first index you will have the second windows object now every object has something called as attributes within it now sahi pro provides you with all these different attributes with respect to every window which is open and these attributes will be present inside every object i am going to demonstrate two attributes in this presentation first one is the window title which will help you fetch the title of a particular window and window url which will tell you the url at the top of the window and same exists even within the second object now let me show you how to access it to now just go here and first i would like to print whatever is the title of the first window now how do we do it very simple see here this is an array so i will first use the name of the arrays array means you will have indexes so i will say zeroth index that is my first window i will go inside it dot and there i am going to access a attribute and the name of that attribute is called as the window title attribute i hope you will understand now if in case i were to just execute it clearly it says sahi test and you can see it matches with the uh, title of the window now if i were to just go here and this is the second window and you can see the title is with title so if i just make this as one and if in case i were to execute it with title comes similarly i want the url of this with title window so i'm just going to go here and uh, probably just say dot and uh, i want the window url which is that sahi test.com slash demo slash frame test with title etc right if i were to just execute it clearly you can see that is what i got and if i were to make it zero i'll get the first one i think this is clear to all of you now for example how are we going to use something like this very simple let us assume the second window which is open that is the title with title first i want to select that window then i want to go and highlight a link called as link test this is what i want to do so how are we going to do it very simple first of all i am going to uh, select a particular window so i will use the select window api about which i have already spoken now how do you know which window to select based on the title now I have multiple windows open so i want the particular title of a window now i know this is the second window so within my array called as windows in the first index is where the second window is open dot i will get an attribute called as window title attribute window title attribute that is the attribute so window title will give me uh, with title now i'll select a window with the title with title so the window gets open after the window gets opened now what i want to do is i want to go and highlight i want to highlight now uh, what do you want to highlight what i want to highlight is probably this element so i'm just highlighting this element this link test correct so i'll just go here and add this here this is what i want to do now if in case i were to execute it clearly you can see link test got identified now what if i want the sahi test link test to get identified now that is very simple all i'm going to do is make this as zero 
which means now the title will be Sahi test, in which case it will be my first window, that window gets selected, after which I will highlight it and just to show you, clearly you can notice it works. So I hope you understood how to use the get windows API call, a very handy tool whenever you have to work with all the windows which is open when testing an application. Thank you so much, catch you in the next tutorial. Now please understand, I have two windows open here. Now out of these two windows open, the recent window that I opened is this with title, the second window. Now what if I don't want all the windows which is open, but I just want the recent window which is open, which means I don't want an array of all window objects, I just want the last windows object. Very simple, that's where my friends, the get recent window API will help you. Let me show it to you in action, underscore get recent window is the name of the API. What is this API going to return? API is not going to return an array of window objects, instead it is going to return just a single window object with all the attributes to which you must give a reference. Now I will probably call that reference as uh, maybe uh, a window, not windows, just a window, okay? Or maybe, yeah, I'll just call it as a window. Now please understand, if in case I were to demonstrate, does this really work? So I'll just go here, window, that is my object, I will enter. And I will just tell, hey, can you give me the window title, right? And if in case I were to execute this, clearly one can see you have got with title. If I were to replace this with, hey, can you give me the window URL, the recent window, the most recent window, it's URL only, it will give me. So I hope you understood uh, another application where you have a n number of tabs open and you want only the recent window and you want to work on it. Get recent window is the go-to tool.